boys and girls, welcome to Storytime here today at Riverside Regional Library, and I am Miss A. I'm so glad you could join us for our story time today. So we are going to be talking about summer. I am so pumped for summer. And guess what? Another really cool event is summer reading that you guys can participate in. So we have tons of really cool events getting ready to happen next week. And we have story times live with me in person. So you guys should check out the summer event calendars to check out a time that you guys can come to story time and come to our awesome events. And make sure you guys are reading during summer because you guys can earn tickets and badges on Beanstack. It's really simple. All you have to do is scan the back of your books and then it records your time. It's so easy and simple. So let's get started with our story time today and we're talking about summer. What are some of the cool summer stuff that you guys like to do? <gasps> Swimming and playing ball and going to the creek. I love going to the creek and finding little bitty crawdads and uh, little bitty fish. They're so fun. So our first story today is summer days and nights. Because summer nights, they're really fun and all the fireflies come out. This one is by Wong Herbert Yee. Summer days are so warm and bright, and they paint my room in morning light. As cat naps in a patch of sun, my summer day has just begun. She's going on a hunt. In the meadow where daisies grow, I creep along on my tippy toes. Behind a clump of rocks, I stood up and over, down, <gasps> swoop, swoop. What's this inside my net? What is that? What did she find? What is that? <gasps> a butterfly. We've talked about butterflies this month, haven't we? Hmm. No butterfly just yet. Summer days can get so hot. They can, can't they? Makes me steam like a teapot. Beneath an oak tree in the shade, I sip an ice cold lemonade. Mmm, I love lemonade. Do you? What else is there to keep me cool? What else can she do to keep herself cool? I bet I know. <gasps> Splash! I jump into the pool. An insect whizzes past my head. Bzzz. It zips into the flower bed. Bzzz. What is that that she sees? What goes bzzz? What do you guys think? A black and yellow bumblebee. Summer's Eve before it's dark. Hooray! We get to have a picnic in the park. Those are really fun. Get to take a whole bunch of nice, yummy snacks and goodies. From tree to tree, I run and hide. Whee! I shoot straight down the slide and we spread a blanket on the ground. Plates and napkins are all passed around. Guess who comes to join the fun? Who's going to come join the fun, guys? Let's see. Oh, black ants marching one by one. A golden sun sinks in the sky. Another summer day has gone by. Did I see the ants? Summer nights. Too hot to sleep. From the window seal I peep, I hear a noise. A scritch scratch sound. Something's creeping on the ground. Who is there outside my house? 
<gasps> Why, it's a tiny little mouse. A shadow drifts across the grass. I duck and wait as it floats past. Hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. What is that? An owl. You're right. It is calling. Can I see the little mouse down there? Look, guys, it's a barn owl in the tree. Summer nights, moonlit skies, winking, blinking, <gasps> fireflies. Have you guys ever caught a firefly in a jar? It's so fun to do, but then you got to make sure you let them go after you're done. But they're fun to catch. Oh, I hear a splash. I see something jump. A voice croaks low. Burp, burp. A summer breeze blows through the trees. It bends the branches and rustles the leaves. What is that? It's a toad or a frog. Across the field, on post the gate, my eyelids droop. Oh, it's getting late. She's getting tired. <clears throat> I crawl in bed and turn off the light and dream of summer days and summer nights. The end. Oh, that was such a good book. It's all the cool things that you guys can do during the summer and at night. So there's a bunch of cool activities you can do. Let's see what our next book is. Sammy in Summer. He looks like he's having a blast. And this one is by Anita Mr. Bosch. Let's see what Sammy does in the summer. Oh, my fun. It's summer, and Sammy and his little horse, Hob, love to play outside. Do you guys like to play outside during the summer? I know I do. Today, they are splashing in the swimming pool. Sammy sprays water in the air with the garden hose. It's raining, he says. Looky there. <clears throat> oh, look at Hob there in the pool. Sammy gets out of the pool and dries himself off with a towel. Let's go to the beach, Hob. Oh, that'd be fun. Sammy hops on his bike. And Hob is in front in the little basket. It's a short ride to the beach. Oh, I wish it was a short ride to the beach for me, too. Look, Hob, Sammy says, we're almost there. <clears throat> Oh, we got to put on our sunscreen. Here, Hob, you also need to put some on your snout. Now we won't get a sunburn. Sammy fills his red bucket with wet sand and turns the bucket upside down. What do you think Sammy is making? What do you guys think he's making? Ah. <sighs> Sammy built a sand castle. He even made a moat to go around it. Hob is having fun playing in the castle. <laughs> Doesn't that look super fun? Sammy and Hob are heading home. Ding, 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 ding. They hear a bell. It's the sound of the ice cream truck. Sammy buys a cone. Oh, my favorite part about summer. Ice cream! Yum, um, um, this ice cream is delicious! Would you like to taste some too, Hob? Sammy asks. Sammy and Hob stop at the garden, and Sammy planted seeds in the spring, and they have plants that have grown big and tall. Oh, what plant is this? Tomato! Oh, ooh, looky there. That's a nice big sunflower. Sammy picks tomatoes, cucumbers, lettuce, and a melon, and he puts them in a basket. Hey, where did Hob go? Do you guys see Hob? Where is he? There he is. 
Hob is waiting for Sammy at the table. Sammy and Hob enjoy a picnic under the umbrella, and Sammy eats a piece of the melon. The fruit is sweet and juicy. Mm -mm -mm. The end. Oh, look at these, some of these really cool things you can do in the summer. So you can fly a kite, a beach ball, and look at all the different, oh, you could even go on a boat ride. Those would be so fun to do. Let's see what our last book is today. Oh, and then comes summer. And what are they doing? What are they doing, guys? They're eating ice cream. I just love ice cream. So this book is by Tom Brenner and illustrated by Jamie Kim. It says, when the days stretch out like a slow yawn and leaves and grasses sparkle with dew and the cheerful faces of Johnny Jump Ups, jump up! That's a type of flower. What color is our flower? Purple! And it has some yellow in there. So cool. Then throw on flip flops and breathe the sweet air. And when bumblebees bumble around in flowers, and wa warblers flick from tree to tree, and the air thrums with the sound of lawnmowers. <laughs> Summer is the season that we do mow our lawns. So typically, we'll probably hear them every day during the summer. Oh, then you gotta pump up your bike tires and dig out your helmet and raise your seat. Oh my, how you have grown. And when the last class project is finished and your cubby is cleaned out of cookie crumbs and eraser bits and end of the year hugs have been given. It's the last day of school, yay! Then swap out backpacks and notebooks for pitchers and cups, because what are they doing? They have a lemonade stand. I actually stopped by a lemonade stand this weekend and got some magic lemonade. It was pretty tasty. <clears throat> when daylight pushes back bedtimes and crickets crick crick in the evening air and bugs as big as thumbs bang against the windows, then play hide and seek until darkness wins. Oh, and when stores unfurl the stars and stripes and flags wave from porches and cars and the whole town seems wrapped in bunting, then dress up your bike and pedal in the parade. Because they're getting ready to celebrate America for the 4th of July. Oh my, and when bands march by, left, right, left, right, and all the manner of floats and float pass, and scouts and pioneers toss candy. <clears throat> then grab your blanket and watch the night explode in colorful sprays. <gasps> and what do we call those? Fireworks. They're so pretty, but sometimes they can be kind of loud, can't they? When every day is like a Saturday and porches and lawns and sidewalks and playgrounds and a familiar jingle interrupts the game, then race to be the first in line. Almond fudge, please, <gasps> because they're waiting in line for ice cream. And when the dog days of summer roll around and it's too hot, you're practically panting and not even the sprinklers provide relief. Then it's time to head to the lake. How many of you guys go to the lake for the summer? Roll down the window and smell the hot, dry grass and shout your favorite songs at birds swooping across the fields and ask for the millionth time, are we there yet? Can you guys say it? Are we there yet? 
There they go. And when the familiar sign appears at last and the Silver Lake winks through the trees, an old friends run to greet you. There's a boat out on the water too. Then scramble out of the car and dash down to the beach and swim till the sun is low and your lips are blue. They are having so much fun. I can't wait to go swimming. Oh, and when dinner is over and stories have been told and your fingers are sticky with marshmallow and chocolate and the fire burns down to the glimmering coals. Oh, looky there, they're having a campfire. That looks super fun. Then snuggle into your sleeping bag and plan tomorrow's adventure. Oh, that looks so fun. The end. Oh my guys, reading those books, I cannot wait for summer. It's gonna be so exciting and it's practically here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's story times and sign up for summer reading challenges in Beanstack or if you guys prefer the paper logs, you guys can come to your local library and grab a paper log to do this summer. I hope to see you out and about this summer at our events and our story times. I'll see you guys then. Bye.